Recently, my family and I were lucky enough to get to visit Scotland and Ireland, and it was so amazing. We got to see some of the most beautiful views and even check some things off of our bucket lists. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back to where this trip actually began, in London, England, where my family came to visit for my master's program graduation. Wait, actually we need to go back a little bit further because something happened on their flight that cannot be overlooked. Somewhere over the Atlantic, my mom started not feeling well and so she got up to go to the bathroom and then ended up passing out in the aisle. Luckily she was okay. Well, kind of okay. She ended up bruising her ribs and hurting her leg pretty badly, which meant that she had to watch my graduation virtually and then hole up in a hotel room for a few days to recoup while my dad and my brother and I went and explored London. So yeah, quite the eventful start to the trip, but my mom is a trooper, so we powered on and headed to Edinburgh. And now you're all cut up, let's get on with the vlog. Okay, so long story short, my mom has an injured leg. So we're gonna take the city bus tour so that she can see as much as possible with as little walking as possible. So let's go. Look to the right, this gent in the blue coat, black hat. Meet a cabinet maker called William Brody. Okay, we're out here on the Royal Mile. Can you set the record straight though? Yeah. About what? That this is just... Just for show. Just for show. <laughs> Guys, they have a tiny keyring version of the coup that I stitched last time I was here, so I'm gonna make this for my dad because he gets a keychain everywhere we go together. And so this is gonna be extra special. We're going up Calton Hill, and mom is being very brave, and she's gonna try and make it up. We made it! We are at um, this place where we're walking on a path. This is my impression of Emily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she couldn't make it up here, but she made it. She made it to the view. He made it really far. Oh, she so. fell. <laughs> that was successful. If you come to Edinburgh, I think Calton Hill is a must do. Even if you're injured, apparently. <laughs> After lunch, Matthew and I decided to hit up another coffee shop and a bookstore. Specialty coffee. We've left the bookstore and we're trying to head back to our flat. And <laughs> we've been taking the long way. <laughs> we've been taking the long way, so I'm trying to find a shortcut. So I found this little like path and I'm just hoping it leads to the right place. And not somebody's like backyard. Yeah. We finally found our way to the bus and so we took the bus back to the Airbnb and then later that day we headed out to another bookshop and this one was a secondhand bookshop and Matthew was in heaven. Then we got to go to my heaven, which was Mary's Milk Bar for gelato. We are queuing for Mary's Milk Bar. We got our ice cream and we got the view. After that, we turned in for the night and I worked on my embroidery kit and admired the view of the castle from the Airbnb. Good morning. It is the second and final day in Edinburgh and Dad, Matthew and I have just gotten Gordon Street coffee. And now we're headed to the Kilted Donut to get some donuts. Mm -hmm. And someone commented on one of my videos that the 
location that I went to in my last video was permanently closed. So I thought it meant all of the Kilted Donuts were closed, but it's actually just that location. So the one in Grass Market is still open. So we're gonna go there. Sorry, I'm out of breath. We're walking up the hill. The Kilted Donut closed. What the heck? What the heck? It says on. Maybe they sold out. Opening hour. We're on the bus. We took the Blue Line hop on, hop off bus, which goes a bit more along the outskirts, and it was cool to see another side of Edinburgh that I hadn't seen before. All right, I've done a kind of bad job vlogging today, but we're about to head out for dinner, so I'll take you along to that. Um, we ate lunch at this cute little place near our Airbnb, and then we went on the bus tour earlier, and now we're gonna go to dinner at a place called Deacon Brody's, which is just on the Royal Mile. It's probably very touristy, but um, it's kind of the vibe we're going for. Mom, be cute. <laughs> now we're doing a bit of souvenir shopping and look at her go, she's walking so fast. Walking, walking. What I found. That's me. <laughs> Everyone's name is here, but. <laughs> Okay, we've got some tablet to try. All of the actual like fudge shops are closed, so we just got this at a souvenir shop, but we're gonna give it a try. This is the butter flavor, or butter, butter tablet. It kind of tastes like fudge that didn't turn out. Okay. <laughs> Delicious. I actually I mean, do like kind it. Of crunchy. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit like crystallized. It has a nice flavor. Is it sour in your mouth? It's sour, yes. <laughs> Good morning from the Edinburgh airport. It's very early, we're tired. We got coffee though, so yeah. And the flight's only like an hour, so we could do it. The flight over to Ireland was quick and easy, and I'm happy to report that no one needed any medical attention. We opted for another hop-on, hop-off bus. This one was not as good as the one in Edinburgh, I have to say, but it was still good for my mom. <laughs> Got some ice cream. We went to Trinity College and I really wanted to see the long room, but apparently they took all the books out for cleaning. So we decided it wasn't really worth the ticket price to us. Hello, we're on Grafton Street. And we are in desperate need of coffee since we woke up so early this morning to get our flight. So we're gonna go find some of that. Hello, it's much later. We have to take a nap, but we are walking now. I have no idea what I'm talking about. He was giving us some facts from the tour earlier, but he won't do it on camera because he might not be right. We've made it to St. Patrick's Cathedral and we're tired now again. <laughs> so we're gonna sit on a bench. Favorite Taylor Swift song, go. Go. Evermore. Okay. Excuse me, sir. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? What he said. <laughs> All right. Good morning from Dublin. It's a rainy one today. 
We just had breakfast at the hotel and now we're headed to get some coffee and then we're off to Galway later today on the train. I saw someone recommend JK's Cafe on TikTok and it was actually a really great recommendation. The coffee and pastries were so good and it was definitely my favorite place that we went in Dublin. Then it was time for us to check out and head to the train station to catch our train to Galway. really raining like very hard my camera is really wet and foggy after our walk we wanted to go back to the hotel to dry off a little bit and then we headed back out for a little bit more exploring and some dinner I get that's good yeah <laughs> let's see the look give us a give us a show beautiful after dinner, we headed down to the hotel bar because they were playing some Irish music that we wanted to have a little listen to. We started off the next morning by grabbing some pastries at Magpie Bakery and then heading to Coffee Work Press for coffee, which was an amazing combination. The pastries were the real star. I really cannot recommend Magpie Bakery enough. Mm, the layers. So good. It's the cutest cup I've ever seen. It's the only reason that we came here. I mean, we're glad because the coffee was really, really good. The coffee was really good. The cups are super cute. But yeah, yeah. the real star was the Magpie, well, also the Diet Coke, <laughs> but the Magpie Bakery. They have oh, the best. Oh, goodness. You had the Raspberry Cruffin. It was the best thing that I've had for a long time. It was delicious. <laughs> High praise. After getting to see the docks in the, well, not sun, but at least it wasn't rain, we picked up our rental car and headed towards the Cliffs of Moher. On our way, we stopped at Dunguera Castle, which was built in 1520. It was so beautiful we could have stayed there all day, but the cliffs were calling so we hopped back into the car. My mom's leg was obviously still injured and it was quite a walk up to the cliffs, so we were actually really happy to see that they have golf cart rides available for those with mobility issues. See that? No corn palace. That's pretty cool. Luckily, Andrew is my middle neck. There we go. Mine's gonna be a video. Okay. Start at work. But then we retrieved it. And we it, had to chase and it. And it's here. So don't worry about me. <laughs> Did you get all that? Surprise, surprise. It's so raining. It's raining. Look at that. 
Good morning! We're in the car, Dad's driving on the left, and we're on our way to Dingle! Woo! Dingle Peninsula! The drive to Dingle was absolutely breathtaking, and special shout out to my dad for keeping his eyes on the road when the views were this pretty. We've just stopped on the side of the road for the best view. We walked around the town for a bit and then grabbed lunch before the piece de resistance of the day, which was the Sleahead Drive loop around the peninsula. The drive itself was amazing, but the best part was there are just so many places to stop along the way and each stop was so uniquely beautiful. Vastitude. The fear shastitude. <laughs> it won't be long. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite stops was the beehive huts, but they did have an unfair advantage because we got to hold puppies there. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, we're taking him. He won't eat. Goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so cute. Hi. Oh, oh I know. I know. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> oh, are you two? Great. Are you two best friends? Oh. You have a French one as well. <laughs> Did you get the paper? I'll get one. Okay. We gotta go to the dog's oh. I've commandeered the vlog. We are on our way up a hill to see some stuff. Beehive forts. Emily will tell you about it. Ring forts are the most numerous and widespread field monuments in Ireland. The huts were built over a thousand years ago and they didn't use any mortar, they just very meticulously stacked the rocks, which is very impressive. You going in? Looks <laughs> Spun around, got dizzy. I can tell. <laughs> There's Dad. <laughs> Wait at me. Honestly, Head Drive, it suggested that you go in a clockwise route so that you don't meet any cars along the very, 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 very narrow roads. And for the most part, we didn't see anyone coming in the opposite direction. So it wasn't as scary as it might look. Oh, Dad. <laughs> the vibes, the vibes are calling. picked up at our next stop. I am sitting in the car because it is so windy. But the rest of us had to carry on because we really wanted to see the iconic Dunquin Pier.
pump in Irish gas. Oh, my hair's crazy. But we just checked into our place in Dingle and it's amazing. I thought the view of the Edinburgh Castle was nice, but this is even nicer. Look, I got horns. I don't know what to do about that. I look silly. Anyway. Okay, here's when you walk in. Whoa, look at this view. Oh my gosh. And then it's a suite. So we got this room as well. Some robes, a mini fridge. Whoa, my gosh, I haven't seen the bathroom yet. Oh my goodness. What? Wow. Woo! Morning from Dingle. I'm really sad to be leaving this place because it's so beautiful. We have a few more hours. We're gonna go get coffee and shop around for a little bit, but then we're headed to Killarney National Park. Alright, we are in Killarney National Park at Ladies View. A view for only the ladies. Matthew, stop looking. Sorry. <laughs> Next up, we're headed to a sheep farm. We're going to see a demonstration of how the sheepdogs work and then a shearing demonstration as well and maybe we'll get to hold a sheep. But we're not gonna get our hopes up about that because it could not happen, but it also could. So I'm excited. What are you missing? Farm, traditional working sheep farm. We just made it to the sheep farm. Woo! Yeah! We're very excited and dad looks very appropriately dressed. If I don't see a sheep, it'll be very bad. He loves the rams. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> That's so cute. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. Let's go. I'm working the dogs today, and he has a young dog, just a year old. I keep forgetting her name, Johnny. Chip. Chip is her name. She's half border collie and half Kelpie, Australian Kelpie. You see, there's a different color compared to my dogs there. They're uh, border collies. Tools we have. Uh, when we go out on the mount. Now, dog's hearing is way, way better than ours. And a dog on a calm day can hear anything up to half a mile away. And Sweep is begging me, would you please let me go? At the sheep farm, they showed us how the dogs heard the sheep, which was especially interesting because of the terrain. It was so rocky, but the sheeps and the dogs navigated it with no issues at all. Right, left, 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 <laughs> right, right, right. So Johnny's left, doing voice commands left, there now. Left, 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 sit. Why are they painted? Uh, the color of the sheep is identification brand. And we'll see inside later on now when we're shearing. Uh, they'll be getting a new stamp on their shoulder. Johnny's getting her now to move them. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Jeb. Well done. August. I'm happy. And Johnny is happy. And he's doing it all his life. <laughs> The farmers were John and Johnny, and then we went into the barn and saw Jonathan shear a sheep. First, he showed us how they did it with old school shears and then the more modern shears. So, he stamped the letter K for Kisan on their right side and right on their back side. 
We all agreed that the sheep farm was one of the highlights of our trip. The next morning, we found a quiet road in Killarney where Matthew and I decided to try driving on the left. Actually in Ireland. Speaking of driving, apparently it was still a very stressful experience for the backseat passengers even on the last day of us having the car, but after about an hour we arrived at the Blarney Castle. Hello, today we are at the Blarney Castle and I'm very excited because when I was little I used to watch Samantha Brown and she came here one time and it's been on my bucket list ever since and I'm so excited. We're gonna go kiss the stone and get the gift of Gab. Samantha Brown, this is for you. There it is. You want to get in? Wow. Oh, it's so cool. How many stairs was this again? Did like, I say? 138. Okay. Something like that. All right, we've now joined the queue, which I think goes all the way up the 120 stairs. But we'll see. I didn't do this, but that's me. Well, the kitchen's right here. I feel like I am um, rock climbing. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's down there. <laughs> Look at all that. Look at all there. that. <laughs> the house oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that they should. They should have a pad in the stack. Like, like, like a chair and the bottom stool. That's a long way down. You did it. You did it. That's really far down there. It is. Was think. it scary? A little bit. Okay. Before you talk. Don't talk about it like this. <laughs> Maybe they'll speak well. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Having three daughters of my own. Let me go for two weeks. You got it? You dropped your math down. We did it. That was so scary. Like that was actually <laughs> scary. That was actually <laughs> so scary. <laughs> now we have the gift of gab. Okay. How, not a good murder hole? It's just a little, Just a hole? Just a hole. Rock. Look you see that, that hole up there? That's where we were. We were up there, looking at here, and now we're here, looking there. <laughs> you guys look very regal right now. From Kinsale, it's our last day um, <laughs> in Ireland. And we are, we came here from Cork this morning and we're gonna go over there to the Cozy Cafe. All right, coffee slash breakfast was great. Thank you, Rachel, for the recommendation. And now we are just wandering around. Kinsale has lots of cute shops and restaurants, but what we didn't know was that a lot of things actually are closed on Mondays, but we still enjoyed walking around through the cute streets. There was a chocolate shop open, and I grabbed us each a little piece of chocolate for the bus ride back to Cork. Now, I might have been prepared with chocolate, but I was not prepared with cash. In Ireland, you can only pay cash on the buses or use a leap card, which we didn't have. And we were short about 10 euros, so Matthew and I had to run to the ATM and get more. Thankfully, we made it back, but that was a bit stressful. All right, we're back in Dublin, and we're at our hotel, and apparently there is like Irish music and dancing downstairs that we didn't know about, and the tickets are sold out, but our room is right above them, so I'm gonna see if we can get a little a little ear, earful of the, actually sounds I'm tired, okay. I'm gonna have a little earful of the Irish music. And with that, our trip came to a close. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed as much as we did. See you next time.